Hello. Here, I have three sets of speakers that are on sale this holiday and often go to sale from time to time throughout the year. The Super Hype RP600M from Klitsch, the CAF Q150, the budget version of LS50, and the BMW 607, which got a price break because the updated S2 came out. <laughs> How do they compare with each other? And which should you buy if you are interested? I will answer that for you today. I'm Jojo, a designer and audiophile. This guy is to me. And welcome to my channel. Before we start, all three speakers are in the $300 to $500 range. I will list the price and spec here for you. And you can check the current price in the descriptions. So first, the build quality. In this category, the clear winner is RP600M. And the Q150 actually comes less. Both RP600M and 607 have a similar structure with unique backport, post, by wire and by amp capability. RP600M has a noticeable better quality all around. It uses a real walnut veneer, better finishing on the front plate with copper details. It is such a beautiful package that leaves nothing more to be desired. For the price, 607's finishing is a bit disappointing. The woofer units, tweeter, and waveguides looks elegant indeed. But the texture matte finishing looks cheap, especially on the edge where you can see the filling. The front panel also shows irregular rounding if you look close. And the color hue differences between the front panel and the body worries me that the paint will get yellowy through time. I believe a product like RP600M actually gave BMW pressure to step up their game. That might be the reason why CISO 7S2 introduces the 800 series woofer units, better crossover, and better woof finishing to stay competitive on the market. On the other hand, Q150 did not use seamless constructions, and the details are noticeably cheaper. The surface is textured vinyl, similar to the ELAG Unify series, but Unify uses seamless constructions and real emblems that Kev did not. It shows that Kev cutting corners on the box of the speaker to compensate. Next, let's talk about how they sound. One thing I think reviewers seldom talk about is where and when different components shine. The places and conditions you are in affects your mood and preference for audio products significantly. In my review, I'll put them into consideration for you to better comprehend which speakers suits your need. From my not so scientific testing, all three speakers' frequency response are V-curved, but the tilting amount and areas are different. The one that coloring sounds the most is RP600M, and the 607 is actually the most neutral, and Q150 is in the middle. But the characters of these three speakers vary a lot, which make them stand out in different areas and occasions. Beginning with Q150, the cheapest of the bunch. In my opinion, the Q150 is great for the bedroom or studies. Its elegant white and sleek design fit into the space nicely. Although it lacks the liveliness of 600M or the neutral tonality that 607 can offer, Q150 dishes out the clean and detailed sound with superb imaging and the widest soundstage. It puts the listener in the space of music effortlessly. This character is the strength of Kev's UniQ technology. However, the tonality of Q150 comes last of the three. The Metal Dome tweeter took away some air and bounce in the sound, the Q150 renders certain sounds metal-y and a bit unnatural. The mid-range is accurate and clean with a slight tilt in the upper mid. So the nasal sound from singers like Nora Jones, Billie Eilish might be a bit more noticeable, but not too much. The bass from Q150 is good with texture, however a bit slow and is not as deep as the 607 and 600M. As 300 USD, CAF Q150 is an easy recommendation for people who want a great sounding system for an apartment or small to medium sized room below $700 total for the whole system. It has a high fi sound for anyone curious, but for the full price at $600, I would think twice. I saw various reviews saying Q150 is amazing for desktop setup. I would agree on the sound performance, but the size is quite large for being a desktop speaker. Next is the RP600M, which is the unique speaker of the three. Pricing the middle of the group and the largest in size and speaker units. On top of that, it presents the distinctive sound signature of horn speakers that none other can replace. For RP600M, the imaging and soundstage are impressive, 
was twisted due to the horn design. 600M pushes the whole soundstage in front of you and kind of consume you. This character reduced the depths of the soundstage. In return, you gain a feeling of front row performance or even more, being on stage with the performers. The tonality for RP600M is great. The texture and music is clearly presented, creating a satisfying experience. RP600M is also the brightest speakers of the three. You will hear all the air and details in the recording. The mid range is good and it seems the upper mid has some dip. The dip makes the nasal sound I mentioned earlier less noticeable and easy for ears. The bass of RP600M is deeper and slightly faster than Q150. The bass texture is rich and the amount of bass is satisfying. When I set an RP600M in the living room and compare it with my Elec UF5, the RP600M doesn't shy away from the competition. Truly impressive for a bookshelf speaker. And RP600M is not picky about the quality of the source. Most of the recording will sound good and silky. However, the strength of RP600M is also its downside. The unique horn sound signature pushes all the detail and sound toward us, and this compete for our attention, which kind of develops listening fatigue faster. The liveliness sound makes RPC Scandry M a wonderful speaker for mid to large size living room as main speakers for movies, rock music, where viewers looking for strong impact and punch. But at the same time, I would not recommend it for a bedroom system or let's say a small space for the same reason. RP600M is one of the most hyped speakers of 2019. In my opinion, it does live up to the hype but you do need to like the sound character of horn speakers to live with it. For around 440 USD, sometimes even less than 400 if you are lucky with a refurbished deal, it is such an amazing product that deserves a listen. The full system with RP600M might land at around like 700 to 800 bucks. If you like the sound, there is no reason to pass it. Last is the BMW 607, the most expensive and the smallest of the three. As the cheapest BMW offers, it still has the brand's magic in the 607. 607 is the fastest speaker of the three and has the most natural and convincing tonality. The sound character of 607 is the darkest of the three, and the sound quality degrades the least when playing at low value, making 607 a perfect choice for bedroom studies where we listen to quiet to moderate volume level most of the time. The soundstage and image from 607 has the most depth, and 607 also the most polite and hi-fi sounding. The treble is revealing but not bright. The mid is smooth with a slight tilt at the upper mid. The nasal sound from singer is noticeable but not overwhelming. For tiny speakers, 607 pushes out incredible deep bass, deeper than Q150 and about equal to RP600M. The amount of bass from 607 can satisfy a smith-sized room Overall, 607 is the cleanest and fastest of the three. What not so good for the 607 is the build quality and how demanding they are. 607 is the most revealing speaker of the three. Bad recording on them sounds horrible. Therefore, you need to match it with better components that can make the whole system more expensive than you want it. The total performance of 607 is the most hi-fi and well-rounded. I liked it the most of the three. However, I would not recommend 607 at this point. For how demanding it is, your whole system will be at around 800 to 1000 or above to make 607 shows its best. If you want to invest over 1000 USD in the stereo system, I will go with either the new 600 series S2 or above. For its sound, $489 is actually a bargain, but when adding the build quality and how demanding they can be in the equation, $489 seems less appealing. If possible, I will go for the true luxury in the BMW's lineup. But with those products, we are looking at a system of $2,000 and more. Way more. If I'm looking for a set of main speakers in a mid-size or large living room for both movie, audio, streaming and such, I would pick RP600M without a doubt. 600M provides strong performance with satisfaction for the circumstances. 600M wants to be played loud and will show you a good time in return. Kind of like a great rock concert, you experience incredible 2-3 to three hours with it, but your ear can get fatigued after the show. Also, the sound changes the most between loud and quiet volume listening. So if you are a lower volume listener, wanting a layback and non-fatiguing sound, I will go with other options. For a small to mid-sized bedroom system, I would put 607 in the first place, Q150 in the middle, 
and 600M in the last. CISO7's layback and deep soundstage suits the scenario the best. In a bedroom, listening often happening at night or for afterward relaxation. 607's gentle and elegant sound fits it perfectly, and its sound quality doesn't decay too much even on quiet listening. It's like you're in the blues at a concert enjoying the show without pressure, and Q150 is the most budget-friendly option for the scenario, and RP600M can be overkill and too bright for the situation. I hope my testing shows some unique insight when forming your purchasing decision. If you have other thoughts and questions, leave them in the comments. That's it for today. Happy holiday, and we'll see you next time. Peace.